guess that means I have to hang it up. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Bloke on the Spam Range. I am again here in Italy. You think I'll be being productive uh, this weekend or something. Um, I'm here with Kevin's SLR and uh, in part of my ongoing geeky series on primary extraction, I'm going to make a few points about felt recoil and primary extraction with an SLR. And the SLR, British Fowl, does not have any primary extraction. So, I've got three rounds in the mag. I'm going to fire one more uh, with the semi-auto action engaged and then I'm going to turn the gas off. And this is going to show two things. This is going to show that the felt recoil goes up miles. Now, if you were to stick this in a recoil dynamometer, so a big swingy setup, uh, Hatcher's Notebook has a, uh, an interesting example of one, there, won't, there shouldn't be any difference in theoretical measured recoil. But a lot of recoil is perception. Part of it is stock fit, and this one fits me beautifully, so all those stories of my father having come back, uh, say, from, uh, from annual cadet camps where they got to play with SLRs back in the day, I say, oh, they, oh it, it, it was a real beast, it really beat me up. I don't find they beat me up at all, to be honest. I find it very, very comfortable, and that's partly due to, due to the stock shape, and it's partly due to the felt impulse, because as the... Uh, the, uh, the action, the, 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 the um, moving parts come backwards, what they're doing is they're counteracting the forward recoil. Then they've got to come forward again and you get it back. I mean, uh, momentum has to be conserved in all cases. This is, this is basic, basic Newton's laws. But what, what the moving parts moving is doing is changing the rate of application of the force. So uh, by turning off the gas system, we will get it all in one go. And for a 7.62 NATO rifle, they're moderately light. They're not super light, but they're not that heavy either. So, having just uh, shot that, uh, that plate down, I shall uh, try another one with the gas on. Okay, so safety's on. What I'm gonna do now is turn the gas off by turning the uh, the gas plug all the way around. Now the the point of this setting is for launching rifle grenades so that you don't overstress uh, the moving parts and the gas piston um, by having extra high pressure gas going down there. So the next shot is going to be You feel the difference. You really feel the difference. It's a much sharper, you get it all in one go. And there's no, basically there's no damping from moving parts. Now, the other interesting thing here is that wasn't too bad. There's no primary extraction on these. There isn't any way, it's a tipping bolt. The back end of the bolt goes down. As the bolt carrier comes back, it cams it up and then it comes back and goes forward. Um, I used to have one of these in Holland and I shot some military surplus ammo in it, tried it with the gas system off and I was having to really wrestle with it to get it to extract but this is uh, modern SMB ammo that actually seems to be quite good. So we shall see if it, uh, if it gets a bit sticky with another one. You really feel the difference. Ah, okay, half the video worked. <laughs> it wasn't sticky. We'll have to do this again at an opportune moment with some uh, slightly sticky surplus to demonstrate what's going on. But uh, it seems that, that this rifle's well lubricated. Uh, there might be a bit of lube in the chamber or something, or this brass is uh, this brass is pretty is pretty good quality, pretty slick stuff. So I'll half fail. But anyway, the uh, the point of the um, the recoil exercise stands and. Uh, it's always a good trick to play on people, particularly if they're a bit recoil sensitive, if they've got one of these, is to turn the gas off and let them uh, have at it. Oh, that's a little stiff. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please consider liking, subscribing. Please also consider supporting us on Patreon. Thank you very much to all my patrons who've made this trip to Italy possible and uh, helped contribute to the ammunition. It's enormously appreciated. Thank you so much. Thanks to Spam Shooting. Thanks to Kev for the rifle and holding the camera. And I'll see you again sometime. Bye.